Good morning and welcome to another episode of The Real House Builders. In today's episode, we've got the long-awaited timber frame crane erection. That's what we're doing today. Timber frames going up, big moment. Uh, I understand that they're hoping to be able to get the, all the ground floor walls stood up and possibly even the, uh, the floor joists. Let me get down there and get a, show you, what's, show you what, they, what they've done on Friday. Put the DPC down and uh, some channeling. I'll get down there and show you. So on Friday, they came in, we're now Monday by the way guys. Uh, so on Friday, they were in all these sole plates down. You can see it on the inside. And I think I've told you all about on the outside we've got the 140 timber, I'm sorry, 140 timber frame um, and uh, 90 mil timber frame inside. So basically, they fitted these these channels. They basically fitted these channels, um, screwed them down to the block work where they need to go. They sit, cut DPC inside it, and then obviously the timber frame. Uh, sole plate the timber frame gets fixed down. So they've basically done that all the way around. Yeah, they've basically done that all the way around. So what ends up happening is that channel, you can see it there, that channel is screwed down into the block work with fissure fixings. And then through the side, as you can see there, um, they, they'll screw in. That obviously holds the timber frame down. Um, so that's quite a neat little, neat little system. So they now know that when they sit their timber frame, it's got to sit perfectly on, on there because they obviously check all this, the diagonal, make sure it's square, make sure the distances are correct. And obviously there's no, there's no margin for error on the timber frame panels in their length. You know, once they're all butted up, they've got to be uh, the correct size. So that's what happened Friday. It took a bit of time and care sorting that out. So this is how typically the timber frame would be delivered. Um, you can see you've got the joists on this front proportion. These are what we call cassettes. So they're all they're all in like sections, if you will. So they'll just the whole that section of floor will get lifted up, put down. Here we've got all the uh, ground floor panels over on the back there. So what we'll do is we're going to. Um, in a minute they'll be starting to lift them in. I've got no I've got a cup of tea ready for me at Kevin's mate. So I'm gonna go and have that before the action starts and yeah look forward to seeing this go in. I've got a time lapse set up so you guys are gonna be able to sort of see what's happening. So wanted to just talk you through what's happening here on this time lapse. This time lapse was filmed over the course of one day and what you're watching now is the well the start of them lifting in the timber frame there off the back of the lorry. They've got a couple of the piles in and they are well finding a starting place which happened to be this this corner closest to the camera. Uh, there's a team of three guys there so we've got two uh, two timber frame erectors and I believe they had sort of a, an apprentice with them. They're just leveling in that corner you could probably see and just putting a little temporary temporary brace there off the scaffold until they've got a bit more of the timber frame formed for it to become a bit more self-supporting. Uh, the panels, as you can see that second panel there that came off wasn't the one that they needed so they sort of moved that out of the way that's allowed them to get onto the next panel, which is the one they were looking for. Which, you know, some sometimes they're lucky the way that's loaded on the lorry. Um, work works out okay for, for you know for the sequencing of how they're going to erect the timber frame. But it's largely a little bit of potluck. I think sometimes the uh, the factories do try to put one panel next to the next panel, but that doesn't always necessarily work because due to their size. There's obviously they've got to stack them so it travels on the lorry safely. But you know, there you can see the lifting straps being used. And you know, they're just working around, they've got those rear elevations up in this front, uh, this this corner by the camera, they're working around the other corner, uh, which is to the other side of the rear of the property. And you know, you can see they're making quite light work. This is, I don't know how long this is, 
probably in real time, but maybe an hour or so. They do, they do stop for lunch, which you'll see a bit later. But largely, I think they get all the, all the ground floor external wall panels stood up before they break for lunch. So I think they're just working out which way the panels go. See that one's over there. That one's the one they were looking for. Look, so that that's finished that side elevation off. We've got um, just getting that one fixed up. And you can see the insulation there, the silver insulation that's all already in already installed within the timber frame. And you can see obviously the vertical studs, and in places you've got quite a heavy amount of studs all butted up to one another. They're usually like structural loads coming down through there, so you've got a beefed up level of um, timber supports there to help distribute that load. Here I've just slowed it down just to sort of give you an idea in real time what, what happens. You know, cranes hooked onto those lifting eyes, swinging it over into place. You know, they're just stabilizing it, giving the crane driver in instructions. There we go, they're just telling him to ease it down gently with the hand signals. Give it a little shove into place, make sure it's lined up on that sole plate uh, correctly. And you'll see there, grab his nail gun, put in a little, little tack there just to stop it moving any further. And as you can see there, they're now just leveling that, that up where it needs to go. Leveling that up. Now I'll just be fixing that off, button that next one into it. And it'll all start to uh, let's see a bit more trouble leveling that one. A bit more trouble leveling that one up. And then I think this is the last panel going in. The last panel going in of all the ground floor external walls. Just going around, cutting off all the uh, lifting straps. Now they've just lifted in the internal timber frame walls. They've stopped for lunch here. And the timber, obviously the internal timber frame walls, they're not insulated. They've obviously got to have all the services and the pipes and the electrics and everything uh, distributed for them. And there's obviously no need to in insulate them internally. They will be insulated for sound at a later stage, but that'll be done as part of the, uh, the fit out of the property. So here they are, just well, that's me and Kevin there, just having a little look at the drawings, seeing what they've done. And I think we're about to kickstart off getting ready for the second half of the, the day. Here they are, just putting up all these internal walls now. These obviously are quite lightweight and quite often some of the smaller panels are actually just picked up by hand and, and moved into place rather than use the crane. As you can see there, they were just, that one there actually just needed, if I remember rightly, I think it needed about 10 mil just, just sort of taken off of it, it was a bit too large. So we just knocked that end end stud off, cut 10 mil off the sole plate and the header, and then just refixed it back up. I think that's the only alteration and uh, adjustment that they had to make, it was about 10 mil on that, that panel there. Which isn't too bad, just goes to show it was all, all exactly made to size what we were wanting, we got no gaps or anything was too big. And as you'll, you'll start to see, as they're putting in these internal walls, they'll be putting a lot of diagonal and struts and braces in place to stop that timber frame from moving. And that's in readiness for them being, being able to lift on the floor cassettes. As you know, as, that, as those floor cassettes are loaded onto all those internal and external walls, they start to sort of like push and pull 
the wall panels around, which if they're not braced up initially, will cause the panels to move, walls will become out of plumb, walls will become out of level, and obviously that, that then has a knock-on effect of then building off that to do the first floor. So you can see there, they're just starting to put so there's a horizontal brace gone in through there, there's a, the, the diagonal over on that wall, at the back of the shot. They'll all get removed once the floor cassettes go on, and then just using those long bits of lumber there. Yeah, so, so we've got most of the, or well, pretty much all of the ground floor walls uh, stood up now. They're just bracing up. I'll get in there and show you in a sec. But there, can just see, uh, I can just see they're leveling, leveling them all up, bracing them all up, so that once they start putting the load of the uh, the floor joist on, it's not going to move around because uh, that can tend to that can tend to happen, which is not not too great. You end up chasing your tail later on and trying to level walls up later, get it all braced up. So, we'll start loading out these floor joists. So, this shot here was actually filmed earlier on in the day where the crane was just lifting off all the floor cassettes to allow the lorry to, uh, to, to finish unloading so they could get out of there. So, the, the, the panels are essentially just lifted up off the back of the lorry, the lorry pulls away. And they're just lowered down then onto the onto the ground, ready for a bit later on when they use the uh, the cassettes. Now, as you've seen in the video, they finished uh, putting up the internal walls. So what you're about to see next is the the cassettes being lifted on and starting to be used. So here we go. This is the first first cassette gets lifted off. Boom, straight down into place. Uh, it's fixed off. Dimension checked. The next ones get lifted off. Boom, butts up to that one. All pre-spaced out. Super bits of kit. Really recommend these. As you can see, they're really sturdy. They get lifted up as a whole. They're all, all the ends are solid. Solid fixed bits with bits of timber, which is used to space out the joists and also provide support for the panels above um, and you can also see the insulation there uh, that 100 mil of insulation on all the ends as well to reduce that thermal bridge obviously that would technically there's no insulation there like there is in the timber timber frame below so they insulate those those ends to be able to to reduce the amount of heat loss so it's a bit like the timber frame panels, they don't always necessarily come off in an order that's required. So a couple of panels have to be lifted off and put out of the way. But in the time it took me to move the camera location from uh, below to a bit higher, so you could see that uh, back proportion there, they'd actually put those uh, two, two bays in already and lifted up the those ones that aren't being used. So that's the sort of second to last panel being lifted into place. And it just leaves that one last panel, which you can see has got a load of um, OSB sheathing that the guy stood on there. Well, that's now lifted into place and that's actually the stairwell. So that sheathing is actually a sort of a joist, set of joists within that, um, that trimmed location that ultimately just stops people falling down through that stairwell and can be removed at a later stage. So, I've just finished up editing uh, today's video. I hope you guys have found it informative or at least enjoyed watching it. And if you have, please don't forget to like this video and think about subscribing so you can stay tuned to what we've got coming up, which will be the first floor panels and the roof being installed, which we're excited to share with you. So until next time, take it easy.